Those of you who have owned uh, the older OM617 turbo diesel uh, powered Mercedes are going to recognize this part. And some of you have probably suffered uh, some issues by not having a working part. You know, it's really frustrating for you owners of these cars because this part's no longer available. And it's very critical to how your transmission shifts. You know, I call it the vacuum trickster valve because what it does is it bleeds vacuum off. It doesn't produce vacuum. It takes the vacuum coming from your vacuum pump and it routes it in here. And as the lever comes up, it bleeds the vacuum off. And this sends the signal to your transmission modulator to smooth your shift out or when to shift and so on. So <laughs> if this is not working, you're going to have jerky shifts, no shifts, transmission not shifting at the right time and so on. Over the past year, I've taken every one of these that I've had and then taken it apart and tried to rebuild it. And some of you may have been fortunate enough to buy one of these, you know, I think I've got two more left. That's it. I'm done. But I decided to go ahead and do a video on how to ch check these, take them apart and restore them. But I want to warn you right now, only about 50% of these are even repairable. So if you purchase my kit, you purchase my on-demand video on how to do this, don't assume that you're going to be able to fix yours. It's very important you understand this. When I get this kit put together, you'll see a link in the, the description below this video. I will include, um, you know, an O-ring and a few other things. Not much, but the video instructions are what you'll need to be able to take this apart, inspect it, and fix it if possible. You will need a vacuum hand pump tester in order to go through this procedure. Also have a video on how to test this on the car and you can do that before you even take it off. So you might want to consider looking more closely at trying to fix your own. If you buy one of these on eBay, beware, only 50% of them are going to work properly. Even if the person selling this says, oh yeah, it came off a running car. Well, it's <laughs> I get a kick out of it. Oh, it came off a running and driving car. That doesn't mean this works, okay? So buyer beware. But uh, since you cannot find these brand new, you at least can try to repair it yourself. So I'll put a link in the description below this video. Here's a good one. You know, This is probably one of the nicest ones I've got. And I'm hanging on to it for my own cars because this was probably a new replacement. I think about 15 years ago, you could still buy these new. <laughs> they were pretty expensive. They were a couple hundred dollars. And you think, man, that's expensive. I think now if you could find a new one, it might be <laughs> close to $1,000 <laughs> because they are just not available. 